Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Pretty Pink Posh's Acorn Shaker Die, their Stitch Torn Rectangle Dies, and also the two small leaves from their Fall Basket Die Set. For a sentiment, I have their Autumn Pumpkins Stamp and Coordinating Die Set, and there is a die that goes with the sentiment. I will be using some pattern paper for my cards. The collection is by 49 and Market. It's their Art Options Spice Collection. I have the 12 by 12 size, the 6 by 8 size, and also the colored foundation pack. I love the beautiful colors and designs in this collection. Works perfect for some fall cards. I selected this fun plaid pattern paper, used the largest stitch torn rectangle die to cut it out and I'm layering it on some of the deep purple pattern paper. This is part of the colored foundation pack. I'll put glue on the back of the torn rectangle die cut piece, layer it on the dark purple cardstock, and I did place an acrylic block on top for some added weight while the glue dries. The pattern paper in this collection is a super thick cardstock. Not even sure of the weight, it doesn't show it on the packaging, but it's nice and sturdy. Now I'll put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Using the next size down of the stitch torn rectangle dies, I cut this piece out of vellum. Instead of keeping the vellum piece plain, I'm adding some metallic gold ink all along the edge. The ink is from Honeybee Stamps. And I'll also use some of the leftover ink on the brush and fill in some of the center. Although most of this piece will be covered up with the die cut image. The pattern paper I'm using for the card has a very distressed look. And I think by adding the gold on the vellum, it helps tie that piece in with the rest of the distressed look. Now I'll adhere the vellum rectangle on the card. I'm putting just a little bit of glue in the center since that area will be covered up and I'll adhere this smaller rectangle at an angle. When the glue dries, you'll still be able to see it through the vellum, so I'm always very careful where I add glue. Now I'll start assembling the acorn. You can use this die set to create a fun acorn shaker, but for my card, I'm not making a shaker, so I did keep that inside portion of the acorn. I did share a video earlier this year making a shaker using this fun acorn die. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I will add a link at the end of the video. I use pattern paper from the same Art Options Spice collection. I have a polka dot paper for the top and a very subtle tone on tone gingham paper for the body of the acorn. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment Autumn Greetings. Using the coordinating die, I cut out another piece from the same dark purple cardstock. I'll layer the two pieces together, creating a purple drop shadow underneath the sentiment. And that will help the sentiment have a little more contrast against the background. The paper I use for the sentiment is more of the pattern paper. Now I'll flip over the sentiment, put thin foam dimension on the back. I am cutting some small pieces to fit in the narrow areas behind the sentiment. I'll remove the release paper and add the sentiment on the acorn in the lower right hand corner. Next I'll add some fun fall leaves and I cut these out from pearlescent cardstock, some gold cardstock and also sort of a rust reddish color. And the pearlescent cardstock is from my stash. I always keep the small scrap pieces since you never know when you need just a small piece of specialty cardstock. I'll put two of the gold leaves at the top of the acorn, one of the maple leaves in the center, and I did pop that one up with some foam dimension. And I'll also add two of the leaves in the lower right-hand corner underneath the sentiment. For embellishments, I'm adding some of Pretty Pink Posh's Plum Colored Pearls. I think the color works really well with the dark purple background. I'll put two pearls in the upper left hand corner and three around the sentiment in the lower right hand corner. I'm using an embellishment wand to pick up the pearls. I'll first add a small drop of Barely Art glue, then press the pearls in place. Most of the pearls in the pack are on the smaller size. 
The largest size is fairly thick, so you may have to pay additional postage if you mail a card using it. I'm not worried about dimension for this set of cards since I will be hand delivering them to a local retirement home. I'm short about six, maybe seven Thanksgiving cards, so I thought this set would work perfectly. I don't really have a lot of actual Thanksgiving stamps or die sets, so I think having just a fall themed card, then adding a happy Thanksgiving sentiment on the inside with a handwritten message will be perfect. I did end up making a total of eight cards following this design. Four of the cards have different pattern paper, but it's from the same paper collection. But the main design is still the same. For one of the cards, I tried the sentiment on the left side, but I preferred it on the right. But I think either way, it looks fine. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. I love making fall cards, and Pretty Pink Posh has so many fun fall products. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.